Good evening, everyone. Your first forecast is brought to you by Stored at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings in Gina. We did see some showers and some thunderstorms move through. We picked up a little bit of rain as well. Tomorrow is going to be another humid day, and we are going to see the possibility of showers and thunderstorms for your Saturday and more chances of rain for your Sunday. So, scattered shower, showers and thunderstorms for both days, and because of the cloud cover, temperatures will be a little bit cooler than normal. Then we're going to see sunshine return as we head back to work and hot temperatures will also return. We'll have the details on that on ABC 31 News. Welcome to ABC 31 News tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. A birthday celebration for Hotel Bentley is our big story tonight. Construction began in 1907 and it opened to the public on August 10, 1908. To prepare for the anniversary celebration, the hotel was wrapped in a giant red ribbon, which was cut this afternoon. I hope that it's important to everybody. You know, we, we did this because we wanted it, the, the city to have something back from years ago, and it's been here 110 years. And it stood the test of time. And I think the city has proven it by coming out this afternoon and with the weather as bad as it's been with the rain and all. And it's, uh, it looks like it's going to be more coming around uh, for and later to the dance tonight. So we're real proud of it. And tonight uh, we'll have a dance from 6 to 10 with a big brass band. And we'll have people, uh, dancers, professional dancers, to show people how to do the ballroom dancing. For the rest of the month, in honor of the 110th anniversary, the hotel will offer rooms for $110 a night. And if you've never visited, now is a great time to learn about its history. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979 and remains an iconic part of downtown Alexandria. Leesville taxpayers will have a meeting at City Hall Monday afternoon at 3 to consider paying higher rates. Under state law, they can roll forward current property taxes to raise more money. However, they cannot exceed last year's maximum. Stalking and cyber stalking charges are being leveled at a woman from the Elmer community. Rapids deputies say 29 year old Krista McCurry is accused of using her cell phone and other electronic devices to stalk a former friend. Another arrest is made in a criminal sexual conduct case where Rapids deputies say they were misled. 57 year old Lisa Anders of Pineville is charged with obstruction of justice and interfering with an investigation. She is the fifth person to be charged in connection with the investigation of Landon Anders, who is her son. Rapids deputies are warning area businesses to be on the lookout for fraudulent checks. They say 50-year-old Michelle Christian, who was already in jail on unrelated charges, is tied to a fraudulent check received by a business last month. Deputies searched her home and say they found evidence she had been printing checks. Christian is charged with monetary instrument abuse and issuing worthless checks. A man from Ball was arrested by Rapids deputies for allegedly taking tools from Sears in Alexandria a few months back. 39-year-old Eddie Ebarb is charged with criminal trespass and theft. On August 2nd, deputies say they found the suspect hiding in a closet and saw the tools with Sears stickers still on them. After a Sears representative verified the tools were theirs, they asked to pursue more charges against Ebarb, and he was rearrested this week. Alexandria police say scammers are once again calling area residents, claiming to be someone from Clico, asking for credit card payments over the phone. Now, officers warn do not give out your account information. This also applies to calls about Alexandria utilities. The Cane River National Heritage Area hosted a volunteer sewing day at Los Adais State Historic Site. The sewing day was held as part of the development of a game for school called Camino de los Adais, a game similar to the computer game Oregon Trail. Volunteers with sewing skills gathered together to help make costumes for the game. The game will be uh, based upon what most people are aware of is the Oregon Trail, which is a computer game. But we're actually going to do an in-person style version of that game based on the travels of the garrison here at Los Adias. They had to go to San Antonio 
and eventually to Saldito, Mexico, to get supplies for the, uh, the, the fort here. We've done this here uh, for two weekends, just trying to get the, uh, the needed supplies, such as some of the uh, uniform hats uh, sewed up with the bands attached uh, for the different characters. Uh, right now we're finishing up on the supply bags as well as the uh, belt, uh, sword belts. The site plans to have all the needed costumes sewed and ready for the beginning of the school year and hopes to start bringing school groups out to play the interactive game and explore the trail at Los Adias by mid-September or early October. The Labuse Library is wrapping up their adult summer reading program this month with a special party. We're finishing up our summer reading program and this is the adult end of summer party. And uh, the theme was Libraries Rock, and so Mr. John has offered to come in and play Name That Tune. Okay. We had probably 57 adults in our summer reading program this year, and so we're just going to wrap it up for them. We wrapped up for the kids last week, and so um, he's graciously decided to come help us, and that's Monday at 1030 at the Labuse Library on Highway 28 East. It's the new library out there. If you haven't seen it, come by and see us. It's beautiful. Well, I, I, I picked out the pieces that, that I knew, I, and I, I think a lot of other people will know them. I'm not going to give it away right now. Again, that summer reading party will take place next Monday at the Labuse branch of the Rapids Parish Library. You can visit rpl.org for more information. We've knocked on doors. Do you feel badly at all? Relentlessly pursued the bad guys. Demanded transparency in our food supply. Do these chemicals leach into your body and uncovered innovative ways to boost your health? Investigated true crime cases to make sense of tragedy. Change is happening here. Our journey is just beginning. The Dr. Oz Show season premiere, September 17th. Welcome to season 10. Dr. Oz, weekdays at 11 on KLAX TV. Follow us on Twitter. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Well, welcome back, everyone. Our chances of rain will continue into uh, the weekend. Spotty showers and thunderstorms could be possible. It's going to be another humid day on Saturday, and we're going to continue with the humid conditions through Sunday. So, not much change there. However, by early next week, we're going to see the sunshine return. Temperatures will also warm up in response to that sunshine. Rain chances, though, will return by the latter part of next week. Our highs today around 92 degrees. That was before the rain came. And when we saw those light uh, showers that moved through in the latter part of the afternoon, it definitely cooled it down by, by 10 degrees when that rain arrived. So uh, we did see some temporary relief to this heat, but we are going to see more hot conditions as we head into uh, next week. Our dew points right now sitting at around 71 degrees, so very steamy air out there. And that's not going away anytime soon. We continue to have high pressure down to the south, and that's pumping moisture northward into the region. And this comes ahead of a boundary that's situated just to our north. And this will not move all that much in the next uh, 24 or 48 hours. It just will hang out there. And so it will keep the weather a little bit unsettled for this weekend. So that will increase our rain chances. So our future radar is showing anything that we have out there will continue to die down into uh, the overnight calmer conditions after midnight and then we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms develop to our northwest and when it does it will start to slowly flow into the region into our area and so we are going to see chances of rain especially for your Saturday afternoon so thunderstorms will be possible I think the majority of it will come in the afternoon that will also be the scenario that will play out for Sunday as well as far as those temperatures we're going to see it slightly below normal over the weekend and then by early next week with the sunshine returning we jump right back up to the 90s, mid 90s, that is 95 degrees for your Monday and 96 degrees for your Tuesday. So temperatures will be slightly above normal. For tonight, though, we drop down to around 72 degrees, mild conditions, some clouds across the area, spotty showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Temperatures around 90 degrees in the afternoon, and then from there, 91 on Sunday with occasional rain. Mostly cloudy conditions on Monday, but I think that will give way to a little bit of sunshine by the afternoon. Temp 
temperatures warm up to around 95 degrees. 96 for your Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine as we head into the middle of the week. Temperatures staying in the mid 90s, and then rain chances will return by the end of the week. But we're going to continue to see warm conditions on Thursday and Friday. Scott. All right. Thank you, Kim. Samsung just announced a bunch of new products, including its first smart speaker. And YouTube is about to pass Facebook as the second biggest website in the U.S. Jane King is at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's tech report. Samsung just unveiled its first ever Bixby smart speaker alongside its new Galaxy Note 9 phone. They also showed off improved S Pen features, a new Galaxy Watch, and a partnership with Fortnite and Spotify. Now, the screen is 6.4 inches on the Note. That's the largest ever on a Note phone. It comes in ocean blue, lavender purple, metallic copper, and midnight black. Facebook could now lose its place as America's second biggest website. It now seems likely to be overtaken by YouTube. And that's according to the research firm SimilarWeb. Facebook's monthly visits fell from 8.5 billion two years ago to 4.7 billion in July. Well, Party City has landed a deal with Amazon. It will sell items on Amazon with a big focus on Halloween costumes. Halloween is Party City's biggest selling season, and consumer spending across the U.S. on Halloween related merchandise is expected to continue to grow. Ant Man and the Wasp will be Netflix's final Marvel movie. All new Marvel Studio releases will appear on the as yet unnamed Disney branded streaming service instead. Instead of Netflix. Now, as for Netflix's Marvel based originals, which include Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, the New York Times says there are no current plans to move those shows. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report. The sexiest curve on your entire body is your smile. And women can be beautiful and smart at the yes. same time. Strong, confident, Kind. I love that you are authentically you in every way, shape, and form. I think that freaking is awesome. Weekdays at 2. Rio! On KLAX TV. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Nick Frank. For the first time this year, the NSU football team will have a preseason game of sorts. The Demons will hold their first intra-squad scrimmage tomorrow morning. Coach Laird eager to put his guys in some different situations. So this is our preseason game number one, and we're going to have three of them. And, uh, and this will be the first one that, uh, that our guys will go out and compete. Uh, a lot of different situations, uh, moving the ball down and distance-wise, coming outs, red zone, goal line. Um, Two-minute situations, so a lot of different situations that uh, that we'll hit, uh, that that we we've, we've touched on previously, and now we'll put it into a live situation. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Register your children between the ages of three and fourteen for the Bulldog Kids Triathlon. Get ready to swim, bike, and run at this community event held on the LSUA campus August 25th. Join the community at the first annual UPS Benefit Golf Tournament at Oak Wing Golf Club on August 18th. Enjoy food and fun and help support the United Way of Central Louisiana. AMOA's Craft Brews Barbecue and Blues Fundraiser is back. Get your tickets now for Louisiana Craft Beer, Quality Entertainment, and some of the best barbecue in the area, August 18th at the Alexandria Museum of Art. The Shrine Circus is back with amazing performances. Be a part of continuing their legacy of raising funds for the Shrine Hospital. It's at the Rapides Parish Coliseum, August 25th and 26th.